This house is full of surprises. Sliding or pivoting panels transform each space. They can be found throughout the entire structure. This is the Murphy House, designed and owned by architect Richard Murphy. In 2016, it was named House of the Year by the Royal Institute of British Architects. There are lots of ideas behind this house, how it fits into a piece of historic Edinburgh, how it changes between winter and summer, how you get a lot of rooms into a very small space, how you save energy, and how an architect really brings to bear his own influences and interests of other architects he's studied. It's quite a limited volume of space, so the shape of the house came from that, building up high on one side and low on the other, uh, and then trying to, as I say, get as lots of many rooms in there as possible and using various devices to make the house feel bigger than it actually is. The Murphy House and its unique architecture certainly stands out in Edinburgh's popular Newton district. Most of the houses here were built in the 19th century and represent the world's largest example of uninterrupted Lake Georgian architecture. The Murphy House has eight levels spread over five storeys with 140 square metres of living space. It took Richard Murphy a total of 10 years to build his house, from seeing the site, drawing up the plans, to getting the building permits. The master bedroom is located on the top floor and also contains large movable panels. Here too, there is an element of surprise. It's a small house and spaces are premium, but I wanted to have a bath somewhere in the house, so I thought, why don't I put a bath in the bedroom, but I disguised it uh, as a seat. This is a panel which opens up between the bedroom and the living room. I mean, one does things for different reasons. Sometimes you do them for functional reasons and sometimes you do them for a piece of fun. And this is more of a piece of fun so that when you're in the bedroom, you can talk to people down in the living room if you want to. The reason it's designed like this, which is an eccentric pivot, is because you don't want to be able to see straight ahead, because if you saw straight ahead, you'd be able to see from the bed into the neighbour's windows, which is not such a clever idea. There was a long period of time when it looked like the Murphy House would never be built. After a lot of wrangling with the planning department, they actually recommended refusal. But I went and talked to um, a couple of local councillors who were on the planning committee and they understood what I was trying to do and they talked to other councillors and when we got to the committee meeting the councillors overturned the recommended refusal of the planning department which is extremely rare. The house doesn't really blend in, so what do the neighbours think? Uh, they all complained of course, or lots of them did anyway, and there was a bit of a campaign uh, but almost there was, to quote Shakespeare, they campaigned a little bit too much actually and um, I think that rebounded a bit on the councillors. Um, having finished the house, I've had exactly the opposite reaction from neighbours. They all love it. Murphy's use of concrete, levels and geometric shapes were inspired by the late Italian architect Carlo Scarpa. Even here, out in the garden, there is great attention to detail. Walk from top to bottom helps give the visitor a better idea of all the details of the house. Richard Murphy has lived in his house for two and a half years now, and he wouldn't change a thing if he had to build it all over again. <laughs>